I find it so much easier to get dressed now than I did when I had a very large closet with a lot of variety, a lot of prints, a lot of color. I can't emphasize that enough because it just, it sounds counterintuitive, but really it just works. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. Today's video is gonna be all about color theory and more specifically about why I don't personally follow color theory. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe. And if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French. So just like the channel. So let's get started with the video. I just want to start off by saying that color theory is absolutely a real thing. Color is very, very powerful and color can have a lot of different effects on skin tone, hair color, and so on. So I really agree that it does apply, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how that plays into my minimalist closet and why I don't tend to go for color in general and why I really think that not just for myself, but in general for everybody, I really believe that a base of black especially, but also mixing in some ivory is really, really effective. And by doing those correctly, you can actually omit color entirely in your closet. That's not to say that I'm anti-color. I personally don't go for it myself, but I do think that some color can work really well with that kind of closet as well. And by the way, if I have anybody watching that is really familiar with color theory, and you'd like to share some information in the comments, I would love that. I typically don't like to talk about something before having looked into it, but I technically have looked into the other side of it. Of course, I wasn't always a minimalist and I definitely had a closet before that had a ton of color. And on my path to minimalism, I started to admit that color and I found that that really worked well for me. So this also may be a little bit skewed just because of the scope of minimalism, but please, please, please share some information. I'd love to learn more and I'd love to have that conversation with you guys. So anyway, right now I'm going to share with you guys some reasons why I personally don't follow color theory and why I pretty much wear black with a little bit of ivory. So let's get started. That was a very long time to get started, but let's finally get started based on my experience as a minimalist first things first neutrals just make sense <laughs> that's why i really think that you can have a closet without color altogether because neutrals really work well together and they do work really well alone too black is an amazing amazing base for clothing but it also can disappear in an outfit as well i think black can be done well in a way that you can have a very, very strong black outfit, but you can also wear something that the black will highlight rather than take away from. Like I said, while I don't shop color for myself, I am not anti-color. I think this is one of the ways that black can really work well for you if you do like to wear a lot of color. Black is gonna intensify whatever color you match with it. It's really gonna make it pop and even jewelry. I really think that silver and gold go really well with black. You can't go wrong. Pearls, whatever, colored gems, anything you do with black is really gonna pop and be really effective. And I think if you're trying to have a minimalist closet that is quite neutral, having a little colorful accessories like that is a really really good way to still keep color and have fun with color the next thing i want to talk about is that neutrals tend to be timeless i don't think you're ever going to pull out an article of clothing that's black or ivory and consider it dated but there definitely are colors that are marketed to us and it's done so subtly to the point where you even think that it's now your favorite color you're really into it but if you really look at what's coming out, you'll see that colors tend to get pushed during seasons. There's always a color of the year, color of seasons. I think we can all remember millennial pink a couple of years ago. That color literally took over the world. If you remember Glossier, they're still around, but at the time they were also so popular. They were literally marketed based on the color millennial pink. The whole store was that color and it was so effective and it was a really pleasant color. I actually really liked it, but then I'm always like, did I just fall prey to that kind of marketing? Probably. Right now, another color that I see like that is that Bottega green. I've been seeing so much stuff with that green and 
you know it's getting to the point where i'm like wow i actually love that green but i think it's that same effect of that color is being marketed so well that it makes everybody want it i think that's definitely something worth thinking about if you're planning to have a very capsule closet i would definitely take a lot of time considering color and i would be very careful about what color i add especially those trendy colors because I think the last thing you want to do with a minimal closet is to add something that's then going to get dated very fast. And then with that, you might be like, well, I don't want to just wear neutrals all day long and that's quite boring. And I would argue that actually, if you do neutrals well, it's not boring. It's actually really fun because it allows you to go into this whole different world of playing with texture, which I think is the most effective thing that you can do when building an outfit. Texture is so powerful and it's so much fun. And I really think that some of the best outfits I've seen were actually very monochromatic, but just a lot of different textures. And while everything was one color, it really felt like there was a lot going on and it was very thought about just based on the texture that was used. I think texture is an amazing way to add detail to an outfit without dipping into color. And I really, really love that. The next thing I want to talk about, and this one's kind of obvious, but neutrals work really well together and it's kind of error proof. If you focus on a similar color story of neutrals in your closet, you can really go in there blind and pick out an outfit and it's probably going to work. That's how my closet is and I absolutely love that because I really don't have to think about what I'm going to wear. You might think that it's actually a lot of work to re-wear the same couple of pieces. I have a very minimal closet, maybe 20 pieces or so. I haven't counted in a while, but there's not much. But I actually find it so easy to get dressed. I find it so much easier to get dressed now than I did when I had a very large closet with a lot of variety, a lot of prints, a lot of color. I can't emphasize that enough because it just, it sounds counterintuitive, but really it just works. Again, for me, the neutrals are black and ivory, kind of like those pillows behind me. Those are very safe and very easy. Something else that I thought we would discuss is kind of emotion being attached to a color. Sometimes there might be days where the color you're wearing might not match what you're wanting to put out into the world. And this again goes with black being very safe. And I think that's often why black is worn for business because it's safe, but it's still very powerful. And it's also very elegant. I definitely want to be seen as strong and elegant. There is never a day where I might not want to look like that. So that's always a really good option. And then with that, of course, with that same feeling, it also means that you can wear black and ivory, but mostly black casually you can wear it in the evening and again you can wear it for business it just it really goes with everything and then last but not least I figured we would talk about why I'm focusing personally on black and ivory as those neutral colors and that's just because I found them to be the safest choice for different hair colors different skin tones I have had a lot of different hair colors and I've always found that black and ivory just worked. I definitely do reach for black a lot more because it's much harder to get dirty. Black is just very life resistant. Ivory is definitely more delicate, but I found that both just work well and they don't bring out any tones that I don't want brought out from my coloring. For example, I really noticed when going back to blonde that beige and brown did not work very well for me, even though you would think they would because they're neutral. They brought out a lot of pink in my skin tone, which I didn't like because pink in my skin skin tone makes my hair look yellow that is the last thing you want as a blonde and it's so subtle but it's still very obvious so that's something i consider like i said i've worn those colors with different hair colors and i've never had that issue before so that's my two favorites and that's really the two that i look for personally so that wraps up the video i hope you guys found this interesting i'd love to know your take on this and what you think and who knows maybe you would change my mind <laughs> If you're not yet subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my little community here on YouTube. And then if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French, so just like the channel. And with that, I will catch you in next week's video. Bye guys. Yeah.